Hi everybody and welcome to Building Blazor Gallery Part 2. In today's video I just wanted to show you a quick update on my progress and I'm going to rebuild uh, the app with Build Copy which pushes the code uh, to the templates folder so I can build another NuGet package with a further update. But just to show you this update, yesterday this was working uh, you could add a folder but the user ID was a hard-coded user ID of one so if you wanted to come over here and just say balloons I don't know how to spell balloons I'm thinking that looks wrong there we go so if you want to create a folder called balloons that works but now it's the user ID of the logged in user. And if you don't have a logged in user, you don't see this. You have to either join or log in. And I'll probably put something here like some info to tell you you got to join. But for now, uh, we're going to go ahead and just log in again. So I'll put in my username. My password's already on my clipboard. And the little progress bar is not showing up. I'll work on that tomorrow. But I did fix the issue with the upload button. So if you upload an image, instead of having to click reset and upload again, I updated the NuGet package and I found a way to uh, automatically have it just stay on upload. You can just sit here and upload images to the same folder. So. That's all I'm going to show for this video, what we're going to do, I mean for the Blazor Gallery part of this video. What we're going to do now is build a, another NuGet package. So, we're going to come over here. Hang on one second. My dog won't stop making noises. Okay, properties. Package. I'm going to make this 1.0.6. Sorry, I'm trying to get my dog to be quiet and he won't stop. Alright, so now we've got the uh, package built. Alright, now we're going to come over here to this app called Build Copy. Which I have it right here. And we're going to run it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and do something I didn't do yesterday. I need to change the font of this list box right here because I can't read small fonts. So we're going to make this font uh, Verdana 12. Okay, so now that'll be a little better. This one's already set. I didn't do it on this one. All right, trying this again. Sorry about that. But it's a short, it's gonna be a very short video. Okay, so this is build copy. What this is gonna do is copy it. copy everything from here except for these folders, and we'll just copy and it's done. Alright, so now we're gonna open up temper. I'm gonna go ahead and check in that change. Uh, checking in with font changed on list box. And I'm not going to bother saying which list box. Pull then push. I updated the README with the uh, video that I made yesterday. Okay, so now what we're going to do is open up template pack. We'll uh, close this. I think I've got all that. All right. Checking in after update to Blazor. Uh, uh, components. There. Okay, got that all checked in. Alright, so now what I want to do is open up template pack, which is right here. And we're going to open up the project file for template pack. We're going to set the, uh, we're going to edit the project file actually. That was my food is uh, cooking. My oven has reached uh, preheating, past preheating. 
and this is going to be package release notes 5 8 2023 I didn't do anything here I don't know why I'm updating this we just need to run this the only thing I need to do is change this to 1.06 and this to 1.06 and build Okay, so now if I open up this bin folder and go to release, I get a new package. I'm going to publish this to my local NuGet. Oops. Well, that's fine. Got it here too. All right. And now what we're going to do. I'm going to copy this to my clipboard. Okay, so now we're going to come over to Visual Studio. We can close this and we're going to open up Visual Studio, continue without code, tools, NuGet package manager console. All right, and now what we're going to do is say .NET new install, and we're going to use this, this. This will pick it up if it has all, but I'm just going to specify this and just hit, uh, and that should install, unless I hit the wrong button. I did. Okay, so that uninstalled 1.05 and upgraded to 1.06. So now I'm going to change directory. Let me go to my temp folder again. Make sure it's all empty, which it is, which is rare. Uh, okay, now we're in the temp folder. So now I can just say .NET new data juggler dot blazer gallery. Okay, and now since I'm gonna close Visual Studio, go to my template folder and just show you. Now the reason this is gonna work is because I already have my environment variable set and I already have my database set. So if I open up uh, this right here, it won't have a solution, but that's okay. As long as everything works and just to make sure all compiles and now we'll run it so this is part two. Oh, this is, did it again I got to uh, change this and I wish I knew how to do this uh, but it's IIS Express instead of uh, HTTPS I don't like HTTPS but just to show you everything now works hopefully let's see Okay, I need to log in. So, username and my password. I think I've already got it on my clipboard, but just in case. And I'll just click remember. Okay, so that is uh, part two of how to make a NuGet package. But any changes that uh, are made to the Blazor website, all I got to do is use build copy press a button and rebuild with template pack and I have a uh, blazer gallery coming along so uh, what do you think of this once I get the images I realize it doesn't work but do you like the idea of a website that all you have to do is set a connection string and set an environment variable and you have an entire blazer website what do you think let me know in the comments alright peace out